Hey, what's up? Uh, so I'm gonna make a quick video. Had a guy hit me up on Instagram, and um, I guess he's got a Kenny Bell. Asked some questions, so I figured I'd just post it up and show everybody. Um, so this is what I've done. Let me move some of this. Just finished doing another video. Let me move some of these tools out of the way. All right. So on the Kenny Bell liquid cool, you normally have your two lines going in here. So your feed line and your return line. So with Kenny Bell, they give you these fittings that uh, you have to tie into. So I have uh, this one here, which is coming. I don't know if you can see, but it routes there and goes into that um, Shelby Mike billet um, manifold back here with number 12. I don't have that big one. Um, I, I don't know. I wasn't out by the time I had this. But anyway, so you have uh, this one here. Um, and then down on the same line, if you can see down in there, there's the other one. Then you would have uh, that one there. So basically, uh, this one used to go over here. So this was feeding it. And then all it's doing is coming back and returning it here and all this is here is the the coolant line like i said this is the return it just returns back to um the tank itself that's all it is so what i did was i removed those lines of course as you can see i still have these and i'll end up fixing that later but just for purposes of now just um i just put a, a hose on it connecting the two right so these two connect so now i came out or this is my feed so this is um i made these myself so while the inner cooler or the the lower was off i drilled and tapped these for number uh four an fitting um i didn't like the rubber hose that was there that come across it looked tacky to me i wanted it to look nice so this is a number four and it goes into here and if y'all know it used to come off here and go connect to your coolant reservoir right so all i did was got a t the two fours um then these are two sixes this is six come across here just put it here for now and put a clamp on it uh what i'll do is i'm going to get an adapter or something we'll figure that out so it doesn't look so tacky so ghetto um then so that's this when the coolant comes out of here it feeds it into here comes back out and just goes right back into that tank so kenny bell wants you to do that because they don't want ice running through this liquid cool part because if you do uh the coldness is going to reduce um the clearances on everything inside there and it'll cause damage and they will not warranty your uh, supercharger if you do that so i don't i know revin racing uh, RevenRacing.com. He sells a kit that you can do this with, so you don't have to drill and tap that because I wouldn't do it with it on the car personally. Um, you could, I guess, if you drain it, take these off, stuff something up in there, um, so the the metal and everything don't get in there. Uh, so it could be done, but for all intents and purposes, I would do it with it off. To be honest with you. Um, but his you don't have to drill and tap it just uh he says you everything i think it's like 150 bucks and you'll get these nice hoses with it and everything and uh you'll still attach it right here with um like some heat shrink or again a clamp or something but that's it so now i can the inner uh the liquid cool part will be cooled off of the the reservoir and yes it's going to be a little hotter but that's just what has to be done they say don't run the ice through there so i'm not going to do it so now I can run the ice in the tank when I'm at the track and um, get the IETs down because it's really, it gets really hot. As everybody knows, you're sitting in the staging lanes, yada, yada, yada. So um, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, just uh, put them down below. How about subscribe and, and uh, turn on so, uh, the post notifications. And um, I appreciate it. Again, any questions, comments, just hit me up. Thanks.